then again, does the innocence of being a virgin as a man, yeah, like lower his masculinity? No, because it actually increases his masculinity. Testosterone. Actually, yeah. If you if you remain a virgin, that means that you have so much self control over your animal instincts that you're like the most badass man. It's easy not to be a virgin. It's hard to be a virgin. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm gonna be reacting to Charles Kid clashes with students pushing free love. Guys, let's get straight into this. Yes, sir. You were talking about like premarital sex and things like yes. that, which I feel like is a great concept. Yeah. But the question is, do you think? Men and women both having high body counts, like, is, is the same thing? Um, no. No. I, they're, they're both bad, but they're, 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 men deal with different sexual temptation than women. It's much easier for a woman to say no to sex than men. A man. Much easier. So which one do you think is worse? Is, uh, it depends what I mean by what, worse for them. It's actually worse for the female psychologically. Right. <laughs> worse, yeah. like, like worse from an outside judgment standpoint. I mean, it, it's it's probably a tie. I mean, but they, they're they're worse for bad for different reasons. So the man has a much harder time restraining sexual impulse than a female. Right, but, but but it's it's also a fact that when a woman has a high body count, they become less desirable in the eyes of a man. I don't yes. I don't know if that's a that's not a good thing or a bad thing. It's just reality. Right. So on the contrary to that, if if a man is a virgin, especially in the generation we live in, yes. Why are we not like if you if if you're a virgin, are you going to be respected as a man? I was. Yes. I mean, I'm right, but I was a virgin until I got married. Right, but think about the majority. I had a pretty good life and good career. Like <laughs> career, career, yes. But, but also, why are you sharing your sexual behavior with people? Yes, like that's weird. I, like why yeah, is it their business that you're a virgin or not? Like I mean, that's that's like who cares? I, I agree with you. I agree. But with like, if you, is the argument that you have sex because you might be like called a virgin? Like, yeah, I don't have STDs. Go to hell. Like, okay. <laughs> no, I, I again, I, I completely agree with you. But the, but like the fact. I is, hear the social pressure yeah, argument. Like the, yeah. the social pressure is, it's like if a man is a virgin in, especially in this dating market, right? Like, yeah, I think that's unbelievably attractive to women. I disagree. I, My I wife's so. pretty beautiful. <laughs> Right. Right? Like, she's pretty desirable. Uh, right. Would you guys agree? Yeah, yeah Erica's yeah. pretty beautiful. I, I'll just tell you that if a man or a woman remains a virgin, you become insanely attractive in a time when everyone else has been shared. Yes. It's not easy. I understand that we live in a hyper-sexualized culture. I'm not even shaming people. I know it's difficult. But if you commit yourself to it, you should be, you should be platformed as a desirable, you know, way to live. And I, again, I'm not here to humiliate everyone's struggles and everyone has, uh, maybe today though, if you could rededicate yourself to that way of life, it's a beautiful thing. But, okay, so uh, then again, does the innocence of being a virgin as a man, yeah, like lower his masculinity? No, because it actually increases his masculinity. Testosterone. Actually, yeah, if you, if you remain a virgin, that means that you have so much self-control over your animal instincts that you're like the most badass man. It's easy not to be a virgin. It's hard to be a virgin. Masculinity is doing the hard stuff, not the easy stuff. So, like, I have zero respect for a 17 year old. It's like, bro, I have all this sex with people. Like, yeah. He said it's easy not to be a virgin. It's hard to be a virgin. I'm against it, though. I don't think it's hard to be a virgin. I think it's easier to be a virgin than not to be a virgin. Bro, you it's it's easier to be a virgin. I I I I am against what he said. For me, I think it's easier to be a virgin. You don't just have sex, because like with this day and age, for you to like go a girl, you have to have money, even if it's not. Mm, but like you're supposed to be there. Like you're supposed to have money, car, something like that. And let's say you need to impress the. Per Bro, is it that to just stay and focus on your husband and your life than for you to want to impress the door? And but I, I disagree with him. I feel it's easier to be a virgin. Like right? just be a virgin. Stay your own. Make friends. New friends. Few female friends. Like that's it. Okay, let's get back to this. Yeah, you're nothing more than a rabbit. Yeah. No, like that, good for you. Again, like control yourself. Again, but it, it, it doesn't doesn't it also come down to if innocence raises femininity and makes a woman more attractive, wouldn't it do the opposite for a man? No, I'm saying it actually makes the man more attractive. I think virginity makes both sexes more attractive. 
I'm not arguing for, there's some people that are like, men should have as much sex as they want and women shouldn't. I think both should save themselves from marriage. But it's a fact that, and it's not a good fact, that if women do have a high body count, men do not find that to be attractive. Right, that, that's a that's fact. That's a fact. I, I completely agree with yeah, you. Yeah, and so I'm just thinking, I, I, I just don't agree with I don't with the like opposite. the fact. Yeah, but, yeah, I just don't agree with the opposite. That's okay, yeah, I mean, yeah. but I hear all the time from young women, why can't I find a man? Well, because you've been sleeping around for the last decade. Yeah, I hear from men, why are there no good women? Well, because the women are, you know, pseudo prostitutes, most of them, you know, in the area. Yeah. No, again, and you say, fair. Charlie, that's not fair. What is OnlyFans? It's online prostitution. Yeah. How many How many of you guys know girls that have OnlyFans accounts? All of you. So you all know hookers. That's <laughs> yeah. what it is. <laughs> I don't know anybody, bro. Welcome to ASU. Welcome to ASU but, uh, what? That's <laughs> my <laughs> 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 Yeah. We all got friends who probably like sleep around. And yeah, and I'm not trying to shame anyone that does that. Yeah. I'm trying to challenge you to be better. I want to be very clear. Do you think that's a lost cause? Like no, like anyone can change at any time. I would cha look if someone who's sleeping around all the time, deep down they probably are mentally tormented. If they're a man, I guarantee they're going to be accused of rape at any time by some girl that wakes up and has a different version of events. And in today's life, that could destroy your life, right? You could have an STD, yeah. and or like you have just cheapened the sacred, the holy, right? You have something holy. Why share it with like every random person at ASU, right? Thing is, save it for your soul partner. Save it for the person you want to send for the rest of your life. Not easy, but the fulfilling life is for those people that do hard stuff. Not easy stuff. We both are hard. You have to choose your difficult. Yes, it's a difficult path to say no to hookup culture. Yeah. It's a difficult path. I get it, but, it's also, but it's, it's also insanely fulfilling. How do you get friends to see like sex as more sacred? I feel like it's hard. It's I mean, hard it's just they look at it through a highly pornified. Yeah. Sexualized lens. Yeah, even so, with the hookup culture thing, like I think that's a great point. I mean, it's uh, it's very unrealistic, especially in the generation we were in today. It but, might be unrealistic. Yeah. Right. So, but even if right, you don't just date a girl to marry her, right? You, gotta, well, you should. You should. Right, okay. Okay. That's yeah. that's, that's where right, I'm like, okay. we got everything messed up. Right. And but, I know yeah, it's hard, but yeah, I mean, you don't want you don't want to commit to to anything like too seriously before you, you know, completely know the girl first, correct? Well, yeah, but you shouldn't even date without the intention to marry. Date, dating is not recreational. It's not for sex. It should be with the intent to find a soulmate. What else would you date for? That's like so, studying for the exam. Yeah, you're just spending right. money on her just to... Talk to them before you take poop? them on a date. Get yeah, I mean, but it's like, again, well, if you... you study for an exam? That right, but for me personally, if I'm going <laughs> to... If I'm... No, no, listen, listen. If, I, if I'm dating a girl, right? I would want to like I would want to be in a relationship with her for at least three years before before marrying her because you would you would need to understand compatibility you between two that people. You do have the intent to marry her. One hundred percent. No, okay, that's fine. Yeah, right. but I mean, then therefore yeah. you shouldn't even go on the first date without in your head I'm looking for flags or things that. You're right. If, and then, then, for example, if you say to myself, I will never marry someone of the another religion. Perfectly respectable thing for any religion, right? and you happen to be dating somebody of a different religion just for the sex and the companionship, that's, I think, immoral. You're leading her on, you're leading yourself on, it, the whole thing is screwed. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So, it's like a placeholder, the whole thing's yeah. screwed So up. dating to intend to marry, it, it, I think is a good virtue, but also at the same that. time, if you don't want to commit to marriage too quickly in a relationship, isn't intimacy a, a big part of a relationship? So why would you save yourself well, self for marriage? You should save yourself for marriage. Uh, that's a great question. Even in a committed relationship? A hundred percent, yes, uh, yes. Without a doubt, because the sacred should only be shared with the person when the vows are shared. In my, in the ideal, I know that's unrealistic, okay? But I, it's hard for a generation that's so sexualized to get this. But to describe how awesome it is to not have to worry that your partner had to share that with somebody else and you didn't have to share it, that's not on. It, it can happen because your grandfather's generation and great grandfather's generation lived that and they lived happier and better lives. It, it can be done. Right. right where you're both not wondering am i living up to a previous partner you know am i thinking about a different partner that it, it, it and by the way with women in in particular the studies show there is um it's there's this there's a chemical there's an attachment that young ladies have as soon as they have they, they have sex with somebody and it, it's very hard for young women to overcome that right right and that's where you sometimes get like ex-girlfriend syndrome it's honestly understandable. Like biologically, 
they're not wired to have 15 partners, right? Yeah. Men, on the other hand, have a much easier time moving on from one partner to the other, but they should restrain their animal impulse. Yeah, I, I, I just think it comes down to the time period at the end. No, but we should, we should speak out against, but we should say, okay, just because it's hard doesn't mean we shouldn't set the standard. It's possible, right? Yeah, there's pressure. Yeah, there's external stuff. And there's evidence to show that we can move public opinion. I'll, I'll prove it to you, okay? So how many of you guys know people that smoke tobacco regularly? How many of your friends? Would you say a majority or a minority? A majority smoke tobacco. Like cigarettes? Yeah. Minority. Minority. Minority? That's surprising. Okay, well, my point would have been... I, I'm not even talking about vaping or marijuana. That's a separate issue. But if you would have went to a college campus in the 70s, <laughs> I would have saw a lot of kids with cigarettes. I don't see that very often. Maybe you guys are going to tell me wrong. We moved public opinion on cigarettes. Now, unfortunately, we now replaced it with other things. But you can get people to change behaviors, is what I'm saying. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. And we should try to challenge young men to not have sex with everything that moves. Yeah, again, that, that goes down to hookup culture, but I, I think at the end of the day, it's like, if I'm in a committed relationship with a girl... That's a better moral standard, you're right. Right, better moral standard. I, I agree, but it's not the ideal. You say the ideal is marriage. Of course it is, yes, and yes. I think we all need to acknowledge that. That there is an ideal, it's not impossible, but it's very difficult, right? And it, again, I will go back to the approach... You, you took that sex and ethics course you mentioned previously, which is... You don't, you, you need to eat to survive. You need to drink to survive. You do not need to have sex to survive. You True. don't. It's, you're tempted towards it. You're drawn towards it, but you will not die. Right? right. And so I actually think it creates stronger men and women with a better ability to find their place in the world, less depression, more purpose. And by the way, all the studies show this, that couples that save themselves for marriage, they have like far less rates of alcoholism, far less rates of domestic abuse. And it could be a sampling error because you're like, oh, it's not fair because those are the people that actually have more disciplined lives. Or maybe did they develop discipline by saying no to the thing that they were most tempted to do? Guys, Chai said something here yeah, and I'll disagree. He said, guys are easier to move on after, like, I won't say it's me, but like after being with the girl. But like, I honestly, Let's say I was in love with a girl. Should I do what love? But I, I was pretty young. I, I think I was. I know I'm still young, but like I've grown. But like it, it was crazy, and it's more than four years now. And let's say I haven't really. I have moved on, but like let's say that pain, I really don't feel it again. That that's one of the reasons why I don't want to be in a relationship again. Because like I just feel. So I really want to get married, not even get married, like, see, I get to a certain point in my life where I know that I am fulfilled, like, I know that I am fulfilled before I want to get a partner or anything like that. So back to this, that like, I honestly believe that you should give yourself marriage, and like, I honestly believe that, and I would say this to anybody, like, I honestly really don't understand why girls just age if you want to have sex and see people look at me and say i have friends i have friends let's say i have some friends that are wild that want to have sex with anything on this guy yes i have those kind of people but deep down like deep down like when you have heart to heart conversation with these guys they really don't want to do it and there's one of my friends he was very much into university and he access to this girl and more like she was calling him every day to come and do it and he, it becomes stress more like it's a hobby now and stuff more like it's a job for him because like it he likes that so he just can't feel handle and stuff but i feel this generation of girls are like their self-drive is high end i think believe that we should actually learn to keep our body count less than five because to be honest i really feel like if you are someone who can my C5 is actually wow because you'll be with five different people like you see penetrating five different people is actually wow like it's 
it's wow. I I really can't imagine my wife. <laughs> See, I have watched videos where people say their body count is ninety something, eighty something, thirty something. See. I can't be with you if your body count is see if your body count is five um see it is a ton of for me and you telling me your body count is more than five like you're a whole like I really don't understand. No, don't get me wrong, not like I'm judging anybody, but like this is my personal preference. I really don't agree with anybody that body count is more than five. See what my personal preference, like I really don't I don't see I, I mean human beings to have lived life. And see I, I don't I I don't really count rape as body count, no. Yes, I, I feel it's not consensual, so it does not count. But you are dating, let's say, system, your sweet crush or something like that, you have sex. You guys have said three years. See, you, you really can't date five people in the space of how many years. If someone breaks your heart, you're supposed to think about the reasons why that happened and prevent it from repeating itself. No, you move it to the next, to the next, to the next. Like, no, that's not how you live life. If you lose ten thousand dollars in the trade, you're supposed to sit down and calculate how the I lose this money. Like, you're supposed to understand why you lost it. And you see red flags run from it. Like, that's how life is. You don't just throw yourself in the street and, bro. But this is what. But guys, tell me what you think about this. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.